Hey there, y'all. Sorry I, I missed you on Sunday. Had a, a big motorcycle gathering here in town and just didn't think about grabbing my camera. Had a little good time though. Uh, up here in Spokane, we call it the Frosty Buns Run. And it was probably about a thousand bikes showed up. It wasn't very frosty. I'm pretty sure the daytime high it hit almost 70. But it was still a good time. But back home, today's Monday. Just got done with work and got some more goodies came in. So if any of you guys remember, uh, a little while back when we were when I was putting the new uh, wheel and fender on the Street Glide, I did have to pull my uh, fender lights out of there. And I know it's very divisive. Some people love them, some people hate them. I enjoy them. I rarely get to use them, but when I do, they're a lot of fun. So I went ahead and ordered replacement lights for the front fender. Not sure where, how long I'm gonna run, where I'm gonna put them, but they're going back in. So, what we have here is a kit by the same company. It's called Sun Pie, the same people that did the headlight and the auxiliary lights there. So, don't get me wrong, it's cheap Chineseium, and I know I advocate for buy local, buy legit, but fucking, these lights are expensive. Especially if you go through Ciro or Custom Dynamics, and I know you get what you pay for, but since I so infrequently get to use them, in my mind it makes sense financially just to get them from Amazon, get the Chinese stuff, and, I, and Sun Pie has done me well so far, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to take two of them. I don't know which two. It could, you know, not going to be the shortest ones, but I don't know if it's going to be the longest or the mids, uh, but I'm going to figure out what fits best on that fender. Do that. I'm gonna have to get under the tank since I routed my cables up through the backbone, uh, but I'm not gonna worry too much about showing you guys all of that. Uh, what I will do, however, is the remaining six lights, yes, six lights, are gonna go on the Springer. I know it's a classic bike or it's an old school, old school bike, but again, I rarely get to use them. So when I get to use them, it's normally just me and my buddies and I think it's gonna be fun. So I'm not gonna worry about any lights under the front fender. So I'm planning on doing one light under each side of the tank, one light under the frame rail right here, kind of tucked inboard. So that way if I use the jack, I'm not squishing my lights. So one on each side of the bike and then if that glare doesn't destroy the view here, do one light on the inside of the fender on both sides. So that, that would take care of the six that I have. Now, I know it's more ideal to use more, but I don't wanna. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me get the street glide taken care of. I might wait since I just got done riding and it's probably hot. So change of plans gonna jump on the Springer. So I'm gonna get everything laid out and let you guys know what I'm gonna use where and recap where it's all gonna go. So one sec while I set up. All right, so we've already had a slight change in plans. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure something else out for the Street Glide because I didn't think about it, but when we did the wrap fender, there is almost no room to get those LEDs in there. Now I can go up in here but my concern is if I do it's gonna be so tight that I'm gonna have troubles getting the tire out for future changes and I don't want to have to lift the fender if I don't have to to pull the tire so I don't remember if it's zero or uh, custom dynamics but one of the two of them makes like a, a ring that goes around the axle I'm not exactly sure how it all works, or even if it will be compatible with my system, but if I want to illuminate the front wheel, that might be what I have to look at. If anybody else has any other ideas, I'm all ears, because it's an awful pretty wheel to not be lit up, but worst case scenario, it just doesn't get lit up. No worries, I'll figure it out. But for now, the Springer is kind of getting laid out, and in that box you get the squid here, that plugs into the control box. You've got your controller, and then there's some uh, paperwork in there that tells you what all the different buttons 
on the remote here does. So I'm not gonna go over that. But it's real simple. Got our battery plugs that I'll have to crimp onto the wires. It comes with an inline fuse. I don't know if there's one in there already. I don't think there is. So I gotta open this up, put the fuse in. And all of my wires for the squid get plugged into the actual light itself. These are the three inch lights that I don't think I'm gonna use until I, unless I come up with somewhere else for it. And this just plugs into the box. So, the way I've got this going in my head is I've got this long 12 inch strip, I think it is, to go under the frame rail. That eight inch strip, I believe, for behind the fender. And then I've got two more eight inch strips here they're gonna go under the tank. Now I have pulled this T40 bolt, blocked it up, so that way I can get under here, somebody's having fun, and wipe underneath here, and then stick, hopefully to inside this lip, you can see it's flat, and then curls up. I'm gonna shoot for where it curls up, so that way you can't actually see the light strip itself. So the other side, that's not, doesn't have that little hook up, it's just flat. So it, it is what it is. So this one, you know, you, in my experience, you don't actually see the LED strip, but you know we'll see what happens with this guy. And obviously seats off, that's blocked. The only really other things you're going to need, a couple little shop rags, some alcohol for you, for the bike, and then some alcohol for you. So I'm gonna get to wiping down where these are gonna go. Then we're gonna stick them. It's just some 3M tape. So, I mean, if you listen to Steve over at Sick Baggers, he says run your nail along the tape before you peel it. It helps activate. I don't know if that's true, but Steve's a lot smarter than I am, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I'll get everything stuck and wired, and before everything gets tucked, we'll check back and uh, see how she looks. One sec. Okay, so we're done. It took some strategic pathing of the wires because this kit had substantially shorter wires to it than the Street Glide kit did, so I had to get creative. But I made it work, and it appears that all of my wires are traced pretty well. I can't see them. I have an extra light on that's going to drive me nuts. There we go. So all should be well. I mean, I'll take a look at it again in the daylight. Well, when I'm not just relying on garage lighting, but uh, here we are. Boom. And I can make it breathe, change colors, cycle through colors, whatnot. But I think for this one, at least for now, I'm going to leave it in the green. You know, bike's green, light's green. Makes sense. Street Glide's black and chrome with hints of orange. I've got World's My Oyster with colors, which is why that one runs purple. Because everybody else runs red or blue. <laughs> so, got to be different. Purple. Green. Now, obviously, can't run with... These on, at least in Washington, but you know, sometimes I push the envelope and do it anyway. So, and it has a memory mode. You saw it was breathing slow. I turned it off, turned it back on, and it goes back into breathing. So, now don't ask me how to make it stop breathing and just go back to solid on without cycling through all the colors. Haven't figured that out yet, but that's why we get to play. So, Anyway, it took probably, I don't know, hour and a half. I don't even know what time it is right now. I just know I'm dirty and ready for another beer. So, and that kit itself was 30 bucks. It's an eight piece kit. I used six, I've got two. I think the street glass is just gonna have to go without a front until I figure something else out or bite the bullet and buy one of the big boy kits from Advan or Ciro uh, or somebody else if you guys know another good company. But um, I'm not giving it up on the Street Glide. It's too cool for me. But I don't think the Fat Boy's going to get it because, like I said, the Fat Boy's probably going down the road. But uh, it's a Sun Pie light setup. I got no promo code, no relationship. I bought several of their products. Yes, they're Chinese. And yes, the directions are god awful. Yeah, don't, don't even try. Just YouTube or figure it out. Don't YouTube me. I did not do an install. Uh, I just showed you the before, kind of the middle, and the after. But. Uh, I highly recommend. I have not been let down yet. They got multiple different kits from eight light kits all the way up to, I think, God, what did I see? Uh, 
a 15 or 17 light kit. I, I don't know, but you know, they're all reasonably priced. I haven't seen one over 75 or 80 bucks yet, but I also haven't looked too hard. So like I said, it was really easy. I like it. It looks good for me, but I'll run it. But as usual, question, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. I'll get back at you. Until next time, we'll catch y'all later.